Everybody else's dishes are looking really refined. My style of cooking is really rustic. I'm also nervous because Jock loves Sri Lankan food and loves pineapple curries and has an emotional attachment to this. I'm bringing you a taste of Sri Lanka. So I've got a Sri Lankan mud crab curry, a pineapple curry, um, and some homemade roti and sambal. Fantastic. What's your connection to Sri Lanka? I love Sri Lanka. It's like such a special place to me. I went there as a very young girl. I was 20 and it opened my eyes up to the world of spices and things like coconut oil. And I also fell in love there. I met my husband there. So it's a really special place and it's got an amazing food culture. So to bring just a little bit of a taste of that, I hope you guys enjoy it. Danny, what did you think when you were walking up the steps this morning and you were kind of peering left and right? <laughs> um, There's a bit of talent there. I was thinking, what have I got myself into? <laughs> 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 no, seriously, though. I mean, like, everything's changed, but it feels really comfortable in some weird way as well. Like, it's like a family here at MasterChef. It's an absolute privilege. Now you're standing there, looking at this. Are you happy with what's in front of you? I think I've had a lot going on. I think there's a few people that have had a lot going on. But I'm happy with the flavours. No, oh, if it tastes as good as yeah, it looks, it looks awesome. I think uh, we're in for a treat. How are we going to keep clean with this? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Do you feel like cracking? There we go. That's a good sound. We're in. Stop yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, mate. Shut all of the doors. All of the beers. It's a lock in. Really? <laughs> you nailed it. Every single bit of that. Yeah. Oh, thank you. This is beautifully cooked, and you know what? It's easy to overcook crab. The curry, the flavor is just terrific. Great skill, great balance. This and this on that is just the best. Really? You've smashed it, honestly. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, it hits the table, it just looks so appealing. And then the waft, the smell, the fragrance. The crab got cooked in the curry, the paste was done authentically. But here's the thing, you cook with poise. You're on point with the acidity, the spice, and then the cool down method. The roti is exceptional. That is unbelievable. That is really, really tasty food. There's a technique in there you can't teach people, so well done. Thank you so much. Danny, the best food in the world has the magical ability to transport people back in time. For me, when I ate this feast together, it transported me back to sitting on the beach in Gaul, having my first crab curry in Sri Lanka over a decade ago. What more could you want than, than food that can do that? You can do that. You have magical abilities. You are really, 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 really in with the chance for that immunity. Really, really. Really, really. <laughs> really, really. Thank you, so Thank you. you so much. Thank you, Danny. That was Thank lovely. You. Exceptional. I mean, really exceptional. To hear Melissa think that I've got a chance at immunity is, like, mind-blowing. Should we stop now? <laughs> That's delicious. No, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. <laughs> We asked you to bring your A game. We asked you to cook a dish worthy of a finale. And you all did. Thank you so much. We've got a tough decision to make here. Take yourselves outside and we'll see you in a few minutes. Wow. So, the good news is we're sport for choice. Fresh hair. Yeah. For me, I think 
Danny's curry has to be up there. Yeah. That yeah. was like... Outstanding. Yeah, the crab absolutely. curry. Reynold has to be up there. <laughs> yep. And I also think Laura has to be up there too. Yep. yep. The eclair. Let's get yeah, into the attention detail. If you want to talk about perfection, it's got to be there. Four outstanding dishes. Day Truly. one. If you had that in a restaurant, you would be happy, happy, happy. Reynolds' dish was technically, I'm going to say it, perfect. There was nothing, nothing wrong with that. But so was the crab curry. Exactly. Sorry. What element wasn't? But what would you change that crab curry? You said, you know, the pineapple, you know, the condiments, what went with it? The pebbles, the eclair, the curry, I mean, it's just... All of you should be exceptionally proud. We asked you to cook something MasterChef finale worthy. Honestly, that performance tonight was stellar. But you know there's only one immunity pin, and we are looking for the best dish today. And in the end, you know, we debated and we argued, but it came down to four of you. If I say your name, please step forward. Reynolds. <laughs> Danny, step forward, please. <laughs> Laura, well done. <laughs> the last person stepping forward. Amelia, please step forward. I'm up against <laughs> Amelia, I said it to the judges, I've never seen a player like that. That was art. But it was art that tasted phenomenal. Thank you. Danny, you blew us away with that authenticity. Whatever happens, stick close to that Sri Lankan husband of yours. Oh, he's not Sri Lankan. <laughs> oh, he's not. I met him in Sri Lanka. <laughs> Where's he from? He's a Kiwi. Uh, right. <laughs> you brought a feast, something authentic, but in many ways, it was unique and true to your personality, and we tasted that. Reynold, you created technical perfection this evening and every pastry chef in Australia will be envious of what you just created, because it was incredible. Laura, you know, the pressure on your shoulders tonight to perform in front of this man, God bless you. It was exceptional, and so you should be very proud. I've never seen this man, you know, well up or cry except for 25 years ago when I told him off. <laughs> <laughs> so, more of that, please. Absolutely. You four didn't just understand the brief, you knocked it out of the park, and then you elevated it. If I could give four pins out tonight, you four would be wearing them. We can't, but I'd like to say to all of you, well done. Congratulations. <laughs> So you four really have marked yourselves out as the ones to watch. Phenomenal dishes. But there was two dishes that stood out above the other two. Reynold. And Danny. Thank you. I gotta say, We'll remember both your dishes for a very long time. And the discussion that happened in the last 10 minutes was ferocious. <laughs> it was very hard to slide a piece of paper between you two, honestly. But really, in the end, only one of you can get the pen. And today is going to the dish that we like to eat again and again and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. The winner 
of the only immunity pin in the competition. Danny. You have got nothing to worry about. Oh, my God. <laughs> Amazing flavors. I have not seen perfection like that in a dessert for a long time, technically. Well done, mate. Really phenomenal. Thank you. Thanks so much. So, I think it's down to this time. Oh. But <laughs> I thought it would just be fitting. You can do the honors. Big man. Thank you, Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Amazing. Brilliant. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm a little bit in shock. I didn't think I could ever win against Brennan. One amazing thing. Thanks! <laughs> well done. Oh my Gordon. way to start this competition. I'm here as a contender, a serious contender. It means so much to me. Danny, am I right in saying this isn't your first pin, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. I won two pins two. in season three. <laughs> so you're the only person in the whole of MasterChef to hold three pins? No. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah I think you are. That's, you. that's a record record. Wow. Yeah. That's cool one. Huge congratulations. I hope that thing serves you well. Thank you. Like everyone else out there, though, that was an unbelievable first day. I think everyone's feeling it in the room. But as you know, when you walk out those doors and tomorrow you come back in, we're going to have something else waiting for you. So go home, come back with all guns firing in the morning. See you guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Winning this season of MasterChef is going to take more than it's ever taken. They came back to prove something to themselves. I'm a serious contender. I'm not here to muck around. Now... Bring us food! <laughs> oh. Come on, guys. Keep pushing. They'll have to prove it to everyone else. Do you want to win? Yes, sir. Come yes, on! Sir. Chris Badnock leading the charge. They'll push themselves to greatness. 1,200 people! I had to wash my hands. As they cook to impress. I don't want to be safe. I want to be the top. Yes! Our superstar guests. She's been singing our theme tune for 12 years. is no ordinary master chef. 10 out of 10. Gutsy move. <laughs> this is a new era. A dish of food like that makes you proud to be Australian. That will captivate and delight. You just want to eat like old mate's doing over here. You just want to eat more. Because these master chef legends. I wish more chefs on the planet would follow your lead are back to win. We're in for one of the best seasons in the history of this competition. Me and my unborn child are ready to eat. Yeah. <laughs>